If you're familiar with the Springfield 1903 service rifle, as you may be after stripping and cleaning it for a hundred inspections, you'll have very little trouble in using the standard infantry carbine 38, the Mauser. In fact, our Springfield has a modified Mauser action, bolt action, magazine fed, rear sight, a leaf with open V-notch. Slides on the RAF graduated from 100 to 2,000 meters. There is no adjustment for windage. A special feature is the manner in which the sling is attached to the side of the rifle. On the end of the bolt plug is the safety catch, operated very much like the Springfield. Cock the piece by sliding the bolt forward and locking it into the battery. Move the safety lock left. The rifle can be fired and the bolt worked. Move the lock to the right and it is on safety with the bolt locked. With the lock upright, it is still on safety, but the bolt may be worked. Even in loading, there is a close resemblance to the US rifle. The German 7.9 2 mm or 31 caliber ammunition is available. Open the bolt and press the cartridges down into the magazine. Shove the bolt into battery, safety lock to the left, and you are ready to fire. At ranges up to 1,000 yards, effective and accurate fire can be produced by this light, handy weapon. The MP40 Schmeiser machine pistol, a cheaply made equivalent of the US Thompson submachine gun. The Germans developed it for their paratroopers after it had stood tests during the Spanish Civil War. By this time, it had been widely distributed among all combat units of the army. The principle of operation is known as straight blowback, that is, Fired from an open bolt, the pressure in the valve forces the bolt back, the empty cartridge is ejected, the spring then forces the bolt forward, chambering and firing a new round. Firing is full automatic only. The safety is a notch marked S in the cut made from the charging handle. Pull the handle back, then push it up into the notch. At best, this is not a reliable safety, as a good jolt might easily dislodge it. Sights, two rear sights, one fixed for 100 meters, Directly behind it, a folding leaf set for 200 meters. Designed for both close and medium range combat, it is equipped with a folding stock. Here's the thumb catch. Press it and the skeleton stock falls back and snaps into position. To load and fire, pull the charging handle back and into the safety notch. The loaded magazine is inserted into the feedway here. It will snap in place. Disengage the charging handle from the safety notch. You are ready to fire. Notice that the magazine can serve as a grip for a steadier operation. The ammunition is standard 9mm or 35 caliber Parabellum, which incidentally is used in all German pistols and submachine guns. You may have seen and handled this pistol. It's the familiar Luger, very popular in the last war. It is still used generally by senior NCOs platoon commanders and company commanders. Caliber 35 or 9 millimeter, eight rounds in the magazine. Weight a little over two pounds loaded. Effective shooting can be done up to 25 yards. The muzzle velocity is 1,040 feet per second. Holding the pistol in the firing position, the safety catch is on the left side, easily operated with the thumb. Push down and to the rear. That exposes the word gesissunt, the German way of saying it is on safety. Loading and firing use the same procedure as if handling the Colt 45. Insert a full magazine in the butt and shove home till it clicks. In order to charge the pistol, grasp the two round knobs behind the breech block. Pull up and to the rear, then let go. This operation carries the cartridge from the magazine into the chamber. When the chamber is loaded, the extractor projects above the level of the top surface of the breech block. The word gelan, loaded, is exposed on the left side of the extractor. To eject a cartridge, pull the milled knobs of the toggle joint as far back as they will go, like this. Snap the breech back into place. You are ready to fire. The 9mm ammunition for the Luger can be American, British, or German makes. The potato masher is the grenade that you will find in general use among the Germans.
The head consists of a thin iron casing filled with explosive. It is screwed on the wooden handle, through the center of which runs a double length of cord. On one end of the cord is attached a lead ball, which is part of the friction igniter system. At the other end is a porcelain ball, which is exposed by unscrewing the metal cap on the lower end of the handle. Delay fuses are set to four or five seconds. The friction igniter detonator system is charged by putting the detonator into the open end of the delay fuse. The head and handle are then screwed together. When the grenade is armed and you are ready to throw, this porcelain ball is pulled out as far as it will go. In attempting to put these grenades to use, watch out for the common German trick of using them as booby traps. They do this by removing the delay fuse. To make a test of one, or even several that you may find, install it at a safe distance, and remember its blast is dangerous within 14 yards. Attach a cord to the porcelain ball and pull. If there is a four or five second delay, you know that they are safe for use.